texting, texting, texting. Can you see that, America? That tells you the dedication. She's cold out here. She it's a cold. cold. It's a cold one. I almost feel like uh, we're in the Northern Territory. Uh, welcome to IDD on a <laughs> Thursday. It's a fucking uh, frigid. It's a fucking... I feel like we're in an ice box. Uh, the Redoubtable one is back. Tom Izzo. The Highly Questionable one. Arjun Miliaccio. Segment one of probably one. <laughs> the, um, our pick segment. Uh, we both had the Raiders tonight. If you saw that debacle, holy shit. Um, Brandon Staley's on suicide watch. Um, <laughs> he's the first to go. He, Yeah, I don't know that he survives the he's weekend. Gone, he's, he's gone before Belichick. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, and I, he I, might I, get replaced he by might, Belichick. He might. Um, if, 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 the, if the, uh, the, the Chargers are that stupid, have at it. Um, but... Um, the you know kept him around. The, the let's put it like the over under on this was thirty four and a half. The Raiders got that by the middle of the second quarter. So sixty three to twenty one. Holy shit balls! Wasn't um, that close? Wasn't that close? <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah, Richard Sherman said it best at halftime. Fire this guy now. Call the Uber, and, and that may happen before the weekend. <laughs> Just call so you know. Um, so uh, <coughs> we both had the Raiders. Neither one of us thought we were gonna. This was gonna happen, but it did. So um, anyway, um, our pick segment this week. Now Saturday, there are three games three on games. Saturday, um, and all of them have playoff implications. That's pretty fucking cool. What are the three games? Um, so we're going to start off with, uh, so we're both 1-0 and for the week. Uh, we I went 9-6 and last week. He went 7-8. and um, So I have a three-game lead here uh, going into week 15. Um, I forget what, what are our records. We're still doing great. 131-73, 128-76. Pretty amazing. Honestly, pretty amazing given some of the fucking crazy shit that's going on this year and all the quarterbacks going down. I'm I'm huffing and puffing to the finish here, folks. I mean, I, I can't I can't find my way. Yes, you can. There's plenty of time for three games. Is nothing you can do that. That could happen. This you could catch me. Yeah, but game. but I gotta start yeah. picking outside the box here. Um, well, the thing is, as tonight proved, you have no. We have no idea what the fuck's going to happen. Uh, <laughs> I mean, not. Um, so um, well, that's why you you. Got six games wrong last week. I got eight. Yeah. Typically, it's the, not like that. The two Monday nighters were just unbelievable. Yeah. Um, so, but look, this is this league. You know, I said before the season, real quick, just that the AFC was going to have a problem because they're so deep. And here's how deep they are: eleven teams are over five hundred right now. Eleven. Yeah, but are over five hundred. That's but crazy. Miami had no business losing that game. That no, was an absolute. Is, but this time, we just could, you know, away. you're hundred percent right about that. But we've probably said that about half a dozen times this year about a team that had no business losing a game they lost. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's happened at least a half a dozen times this year. Yeah, but you and there's going to be more before it's over. You wouldn't think Miami would do that. Not this year. I mean, they still Miami, have they look, still yet to beat a good team. My, no, they've beaten. They have a, they have some wins against against winning teams. Yeah, they do. They really? did beat they did beat somebody with a 500 record. I forget who it was. 500 uh, okay. or better than better than 500 record. Um, but the thing is, um, well, Denver seven and six. They blasted Denver. <laughs> that was when Denver was still trying to figure well, out. Denver where their clearly dick was. wasn't that bad of a team because now they're seven and six and they're in it. So they they destroyed Denver. <clears throat> um, worst beating of the season until today. Actually, still was worse than today. Um, but anyway, so we're going to start with yeah. uh, Minnesota at Cincinnati. Um, uh, I think that's an easy one. It, it's because be. because Dobbs is out. Yeah. And they got this kid Mullins in there, and Browning, dude. I did not. I didn't. I picked. Who did I pick against him? I don't know, but he he looks good. <laughs> I mean, he's I got, picked Indy now over them. again. This goes to what I said about Mac Jones. You give look at the weapons he's got. No, yeah, you're right. I mean, it's not hard to look good when you have those kind of weapons. To but his credit, you also have to let the guy do it, though. Well, the coach is letting him do it. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, why wouldn't you let him do it? Like I said, he has a Maserati, a Lamborghini, a Ferrari out there. Why would you not drive them? I mean, come on. It's stupid. So I think we both got Cincy on that one. Yeah. Um, Pittsburgh at the Colts. Pittsburgh might be the biggest fraudulent oh, team no. I've seen in a long time. Now watch him win this game. Yeah. Now. Well, it's in Indy. Is uh, Trubisky, though? Trubisky? Does he? I mean, I don't know. I, I, to me, the... the, the, the is TJ out? 
Didn't they lose Watt? He played the second half against the Patriots. Oh, he did. And, he, and totally shut the Patriots down, which isn't hard to do. But um, he missed the whole first half, which is why the Pats put up 21 points. But, of course, Trubisky also airmailed the freaking biscuit right over the – I mean, just terrible throw. One of the worst throws I've seen all season. And if, he threw it into quadruple coverage. He literally threw it. In, the, the, the game that we didn't get a chance to recap that, but he really mm. – he threw it into quadruple coverage. You can't get much dumber than that. Okay, so anyway, I got the Colts. It's at Indy. I'm going to take the Colts. Um, Denver at Detroit. Detroit. Oh, I didn't pick. Do I get to pick? Go ahead. I'm waiting. No, you weren't. You were going to the next game. I'm waiting right now. Go ahead and pick. Um, see, this is a hard one to pick because Pittsburgh looked so bad against y'all last week. But that defense is for real. Andy's defense is not. Mr. Trubisky is also for real. You know what? The Colts fucked me last week. I'm going with Pittsburgh. Okay, there you go. There you have it. Um, Denver at Detroit. Um, Jeez, Detroit. Detroit's, Detroit has uh, not been this since Thanksgiving. They haven't been the same team. Uh, Green Bay shocked them, punked them. And, uh, they got punked last week by the Bears. They did. Uh Russell Wilson's a better quarterback. He's having a good year. Detroit's desperate. Though, Where's man. this game? It's in Detroit. I'm going with Dan Campbell and the boys. Um, I think Detroit wins that game. Uh, Chicago at Cleveland. Um, oh, did you know last week was the first week I picked f- with Sean Payton? I know. And they won. And they won. So, um, Chicago at Cleveland. Cleveland's defense is – this side of San Francisco, the best defense in the league, I think. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Baltimore's right there, too, but they're one of the top three. Yeah, I feel like they're better than Baltimore. Um, well, statistically, they're not. Um, but they've also played teams like San Fran. You know, Baltimore did shut down Detroit, held them to six points. Um, what, did the, what did the Browns do last week? They won. I know, but they're 8-5. and five. Were, they, were they, they playing? You remember? I forget who it was. They won, though. They're 8-5. and five. Um, That defense, um, I'm telling you, He's Clowney is, is Clowney? Did you have on Clowney? He is. Um, no, it's Miles Garrett. I'm sorry, Miles Garrett. Clowney's uh, for uh, what's his nuts. Um, but Miles Garrett's having an MVP season. Okay, so it's Cleveland, Chicago. It's at Cleveland too. <laughs> so I'm going with Cleveland. Um, Dude, did you see what Justin Fields did last week though? Mm-hmm. But it wasn't. It was against Detroit. No, Detroit's defense ain't Cleveland's defense. Um, yeah, you got to go with Cleveland's defense there. Um, now, this next one is very interesting. Um, it's become interesting. It's become a, a game with playoff implica- implications. Uh, Tampa Bay at Green Bay, Battle of the Bays. Um, jo- uh, Mr. Love looked great for three weeks, and then I don't know what the hell happened. Him. Well, I do. He ran into a good defense. Giants defense, Giants defense is legit. Um, it, he, he was making some... But say, I don't he, know if there was wind. He was throwing he, some floaters. But say, he missed some guys that were wide, like in the like, yeah. routine passes. Right from the start. Yeah, like he was off all game. I mean, so. But well, until the fourth quarter. Yeah. And he let him down for a couple scores. He did. Now the Giants tried to give it to him. Saquon fumbling. That was a ridiculous. That was weird. What are you doing, That dude? was weird. I mean, he hasn't fumbled like that ever. Yeah. So uh, that would to me was, that was a fluke. It was like the uh, first fumble for him in, in like. A long time. Hundreds of touches. Yeah. So, but anyway, you know, it is in Green Bay. Um, I, Baker Mayfield's played well this year. He really has. Yeah. Um, but Chris Godwin is hurt. Um, he's got an knee injury. He's battling injury. He's questionable. Um, I just don't know that they go in there with it if he's not 100% and win that game. Now, their defense is legit. Uh, the, the Tampa's defense is legit. Plus, they got Rashad White, and Green Bay mm-hmm. struggles against the run. Yeah, they do. Um, I kind of want to go Baker here. Mm. What time know. is that game? 1 o'clock, CBS. So it's not nighttime cold, but it'll be no, cold. It'll be cold. Tampa's not a good cold weather team. No? No. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. But no. Baker, Baker play at Cleveland, dude. He doesn't give a fuck. Mm. He has. The rest of them haven't. Um, tough call. That um, is a tough one. I'm going to go Baker. It's a coin flip game here. Uh, I'll take Green Bay. Fuck it. Um, next one, Houston at uh, Tennessee. Tennessee pulled one out of there. You know what, last week. Um, and, and Houston is beat up after playing Houston, the Jets. Houston, well, we don't know if, if uh, CJ is going to play. Um, 
And Tank Dell's out for the year. Tank Nico Dell's Collins got hurt. He got hurt again. Um, this, so. this game is in Tennessee. I'm going with Tennessee. Because Derrick Henry is going to be Derrick Henry, I think. Again. Um, so I like Tennessee in that one. What, what's Tennessee's record right now? They're 5-8. and eight. And it's in Tennessee? It's in Tennessee. And Houston is banged up like you read about. Is C.J. Stroud playing? I don't know. Let me check that real quick. I don't know. Because, I mean, that would make if it If C.J. Neat. Stroud, well, I'm That's... going on the assumption he's not playing. Because it didn't sound like he's still in. Really? He's still in Kentucky concussion protocol. And as of today, he hadn't practiced. Oh. So, I don't know. Oh, and it's a, is that a Saturday game or that's a Sunday it's game? Sunday at 1 o'clock. I mean, he's still so, showing questionable. Yeah. So, I don't know that he's going to play. <clears throat> um, Davis Mill. So, Davis Mills didn't play bad last year. No. Yeah, I think. Oh, well. The thing is, that there's a lot of these teams. That last place team is seven and six uh, for the seventh spot. Yeah. Tennessee is two games back with five to go. They win that game at home. They're right back in it. I know. It's just like I'm trying to. Like Tennessee was getting dominated the entire game, and then in the final three minutes, scored 15 points to win it. And I, I wonder if that's... On the road, at yeah. Miami. Not an easy place to play. Mm -hmm. Well, it helped that it was at night and not in the middle of the summer. Yeah. But um, Houston just got bitch slapped by the Jets. Yeah, and they got beat the fuck and, down. And by the way, they made they made Zach Wilson look, look, like, look really, really, really good. <laughs> yeah, that's a, so, that's a good point. We'll um, go Titans. Next one, Jets at Miami. Um... I, Miami has to. Miami is, has to wake up. Is, is what's his face playing? Who? Oh. Tyreek. I don't know, but they still got more than enough weapons to beat the Jets. Man. I know, but the Jets played him pretty well with Tyreek. I was in New York. This is in Miami. And at one o'clock in that heat. You think is it is it real hot right now in Miami? It's probably not as bad. Mm, Tyreek is showing questionable. He's questionable. Hmm. I got the Dolphins at home. They've got in a bounce back game. They need to. They need to show out after they had to, they they get wrapped. You're, you're right. They get wrapped yeah. in that one last week. I you're can't right. see this happening twice in a row because Buffalo is showing signs of life. Miami cannot lose this game. Buffalo's right, and Buffalo already has beaten them once. Miami cannot lose this game. The Jets are out of it. Do they still have another with Buffalo? Yeah, it's in Miami. Where you're, yeah, you're right though. That that you can't. Last week's got to be a wake up call. It's got to be a wake up call. They gift wrapped it. Um, Next one, Kansas City at New England. Kansas City. It's Kansas City. Yeah, let's not talk about that one. Let's not talk about that one. Uh, next one. Now, this one's very interesting. Giants at New Orleans. New Orleans. Mm. I kind of want to pick my boys, the, but I, they struggle down DeVito, there. DeVito. DeVito. That place gets loud. Yeah, but New Orleans is a. They are Jekyll and Hyde. They really are. And I don't. Our trust, defense can hurt them. I don't trust their quarterback. <clears throat> he has fucked me. Six. He's the reason I'm not in the fantasy football. He has fucked me six ways to side. Here's, here's the only thing that... He doesn't that, know who his best receiver is and clearly doesn't fucking care to find out. This <laughs> is what scares me about New Orleans versus the Giants, the Giants. And part of me knew this just from watching a couple Giants games. I haven't seen a ton of them this year, but they, they were talking about how the Giants are the worst in the league at yards after catch yards mm. after and yards after contact. Mm-hmm. And when you think of, like, Alvin Kamara, if they throw a little dump-offs to him and you can't tackle... Kamara's a stud. He's going to run all over your ass. Kamara is a stud. And Olave is going to get behind them. The, look, at, on paper, the Saints have more weapons than the Giants can handle. My problem is they don't know how to use them all. But and the Giants the have shown they can play de defense against teams with, with multiple weapons. They have. I'm, I, I have no problem. Like, the thing is, to me, New Orleans is in first place. Um... They're fighting for something. The Giants, while on paper, are alive. That schedule, Philly twice. But they're one game behind New Orleans. They are. So, but it's in New Orleans. That That's what I think makes it really hard for them to win. New because, Orleans defense at home yeah, at times looks like the 85 Bears. And the Superdome gets loud as fuck. Yeah. That's why I'm going with Nolens. So, yeah, I, I feel like that's going to be a tougher. The Giants will put up a fight, but I think New Orleans wins this game. 
I'm going with Tommy Cutlets. I'm going with Cutlets. All right. Just because I, I want to root for my guy. Root for your guy? Um, Atlanta at Carolina. Atlanta. Yeah. Atlanta's uh, tied, but they have to win this game. Carolina's done. Carolina's done. Atlanta really fucked up last week. Yep. Because they, th- their kid, Ritter, finally gave him a really nice game. He did. And then... You know, he gives you he gives you the lead with a minute and got, change left. Got bakered. Yeah, they got bakered. Got bakered. So you said you said Carolina. No, I said Atlanta. <laughs> you you wish I said Carolina. I know. <laughs> um, Washington at the Rams. Rams. Rams are fighting. Rams damn near won that game in Baltimore. Losing in overtime in Baltimore is no shame. The Rams that was are, a great game. To the watch. Rams are better than their record. They are coming. I think they're going to drub the they're going to drub the, the hapless command. They should. They're, 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 that that I, we were joking about it off air last week. That half that half that building is walking dead. Dude, can, can you believe the Giants have a better record than them? Yeah, I can believe it. The Giants were a better team last year. And the Giants did the Giants beat them twice this year? They beat them once. I know that. So anyway, the point, bottom line is, if the Giants weren't in New Orleans, I'd pick the Giants this week. But <laughs> they are. Um, Washington going to be playing against the Pop Warner team. I'm picking the Pop Warner. Team. <laughs> um, so I got I got the Rams in that one. Um, you? Yeah, Rams definitely. Next one, San Fran and Arizona. San Francisco. Yeah. Buzz saw. Buzz saw. Um, this one is might be the game of the weekend. Um, is this Sunday night? No, this is 4:25. This Ooh. is Dallas at Buffalo. Ooh. This is big. Buffalo Dallas has been bottom feeding and bottom feeding and bottom. Yeah, they they rose up and beat Philly at home after Philly had been through like eight Donnie Brooks in a row, and here came the Cowboys who've been playing cream puff after cream puff after cream puff. Well, now Dallas, the tide is turning. Dallas has back to back at Buffalo at Miami, back to back. Um, I got Buffalo in this game. Buffalo needs this game more, and again, Dallas mm. has been bottom feeding for most of the year. Plus, they've been they have been licking their ball sack since they beat Philly. They've been licking their ball sack. You should hear the way these guys are talking. Really? Yeah. They're, 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 I haven't heard it. Oh, I have. I've been watching the TV. Because that's what makes me want to pick them over Buffalo. No, I'm picking Buffalo. Pick I mean, Buffalo got out of KC by the skin of their taint. I'm saying Buffalo. I'm going to go Dallas. Uh, Baltimore. This, this is going to be a turning of the tides. Mm-hmm. Either you're going to be ahead by six games mm-hmm. – or I'm coming we'll back. We're probably split. You think so? On some probably, of these? Yeah. So um, you, got, you got the Bills and yeah. I got the boys. Yeah. Uh, Baltimore at Jacksonville. Jacksonville, if it wasn't for Pittsburgh, Jacksonville might be the biggest bunch of frauds going. Um, Who'd they lose to last week? Uh, was it Cleveland? Oh, it was Cleveland. It was Cleveland. Yeah. Who has a third? With Flacco. Shot? With Flacco. Flacco, on, looks, and Flacco looked really good. Yeah, what is Jacksonville really doing? Good. Um, losing. Um, look, this is a gut check game for Jacksonville. If they're going to make a statement, it's now. But Baltimore, Baltimore to me is the best good. team in the AFC. They look good. They're the second best team in the league to me, behind San Francisco. So I got Baltimore in this one. Um, and yeah, I mean, that was a sloppy game against the Ra- the Ra- the Rams. The Rams are it better. Was, tell you no, you I watch. just mean, it, I mean, like wet. It was wet. It yeah. was cold. Mm-hmm. And they were throwing the ball all over the place. Lamar looked really good last week. Lamar has weapons. Now. He, I mean, he's using. Them and so he well. made some. He made some nice throws in that Jacksonville's game. Jacksonville's defense is suspect. Yeah, I don't see them shutting Baltimore down. Yeah, um, if you couldn't shut Joe Flacco down. Lastly, Monday night, this game got very interesting. Philadelphia, who is reeling um, after two back-to-back losses to San Fran and Dallas, um, they are at Seattle, who is desperate. Seattle at needs Seattle. this game. It's at Seattle. If they and from what I'm hearing, Dan Orlovsky's saying they're going to play them man to man. If Philly is that dumb, then we have to ask the question, Joel: Where is Matt Patricia? Because <laughs> that defense don't look like the defense I saw last year. No. And Matt Patricia was hired as a defensive assistant. Well, that's all they, I'm going to say. But they they lost some key pieces. Yeah. Well, you don't solve it with Matt Patricia. No, you don't. Matt Patricia is not a solution. Matt Patricia is a problem. Okay, he, if or he's an extension of a problem. And the solution to Matt Patricia is fire him. Fire him. <laughs> Get him gone. Um, uh, you're, you're going Seattle. Yeah, you're going Seattle because Philly's secondary. I, if they're going to play them man to man, they're going to light them up. All right. So I got to say, they're going to light them up. I I had there was no chance I was going to pick Seattle. But when I think about the points they put up against Dallas. They should have beat Dallas. They should have beat Dallas. If some dickhead had blocked Micah Parsons, they probably would have beat Dallas. Um, 
But what about Seattle's defense against Jalen Hurts? That because their defense isn't good, right? They had eleven sacks on you guys. Danny Dimes just being stupid that game. Philadelphia. Dan Arlovsky broke that down. There was four. Philadelphia's <laughs> offense has been struggling as well. I don't know why. Well, they've been um, playing against good teams. Well, Seattle was a playoff team last year, and they're in there right now. They're in there in the mix. So, and but you the can't put team. Seattle up in the, the the stratosphere of Buffalo, Kansas City, Dallas, right? They should have. They, they should have. They're beat tier Dallas. below. They should have beat Dallas and Dallas. But they're but they're not. Well, they they, they they put up more points on Dallas's D than Philly did. Philly didn't score an offensive touchdown against them. Yeah, that's and true. They lit them up for thirty five points again. If someone had blocked Micah Parsons, Dallas loses that game. So, Dude, if Philly loses to Seattle, they got problems. They've already got problems. Their defense can't stop a nosebleed. They're dead last. They're, and, and, and Dan Olowski said it. Their secondary might be the worst in the entire league. Jeez. They're, he's not wrong. Look at look at what teams have done to Mac Jones, who has no mm. weapons, threw for 300 yards and three touchdowns on him. He has no weapons. None. If, he, if Mac Jones can do that, what can Geno Smith do with Lockett, DK Metcalf, and freaking Jigba? Jigba Smith Jigba. They're not, and if Philly's going to be stupid enough to play that man to man, good God. Where, where are you hearing that they're playing a man to man? Orlovsky says they're going to play a man to man. Why? Because that's what Pete Carroll does. Pete Carroll? Pete Carroll's the head coach of Seattle. Right, but he runs his defense. But you're, go, you're talking about Philly playing. At Seattle. Seattle man to man. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, uh, so he said that Philly's secondary is going to play that man to man. I'm sorry. Because they don't play his own. They play man primarily. Maybe that's why they suck. That would be the problem. <laughs> look at what look at mm. what if you think about what Sam Adebo did to them, and then think about what CD Lamb did to them. This, so this would be man three man losses coverage. in a row for Philly. If you're dumb enough to play this team man to man, which they don't seem to play anything else but man, you're asking for trouble. And the last two weeks, listen, this I will say this about Seattle: that receiving core is as talented as any in the league. And they're coming off back. Seattle needs to win this game. They are desperate. Philly, Philly. can lose this game because Dal- Dallas is going to lose either Buffalo or Miami. They may lose both of them because Dallas has been bottom feeding. And by the way, mm-hmm. Dallas's Super Bowl was last week. They had to win that game. <clears throat> Dallas is not going to play any better than that. I, I, I assure you, they're not going to play any better for that. They couldn't have been more up for that game. That was their Super Bowl. They had to yeah, but win But now that they're playing game. Buffalo. They're playing two of the best teams in the AFC. Why on the road. They, why wouldn't they be up for those games? On the road because that because Philly is their is their monster. They that they're in the division. They're the team they can't get over. Mm. So they don't see these guys but once every four or five years. I just can't Buffalo. see Philly losing three in a row. I I agree, but I also know that, that secondary is no. Awful. You make you awful. make really good points. I mean, I, I I think I couldn't see New England beating Pittsburgh, but it happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I couldn't see the Raiders putting up 63 points ever, but it happened tonight. So when you say I can't see it happening, I've seen a dozen things this year that I couldn't see happening happen. So I, I, Philly's not Philly's not immune to three in a row. And again, they're not they're not the desperate team. Yeah. Seattle, is. and they're not the team they were. They were last they're not year. the team they were last year. And I, I, I keep looking at them. Like they're they not are. that. I mean, you don't look at you don't get boat raced back to back if you're that team. No. No, I don't get – look, I could see them losing to the Niners and the Cowboys, but those games should have been more competitive than they, they didn't were. Put up a they fight. didn't score an offensive touchdown against Dallas. Phil, it, it, Seattle dropped 35 well, on Dallas. They two field goals and they got a scoop and score. Scoop and, and score, it. that's it. The, the, thir, Seattle dropped 35 on that Dallas defense. Dallas's defense is way better than Philly's defense. Yeah. And Seattle in Dallas put 35 up on them. Hold on, you said whose defense is better? Dallas's defense is better than Philly's. By far. Oh, yeah. By far. And Seattle lit them up in Dallas for 35 points. Seattle couldn't score an offensive. I mean, Philly couldn't score an offensive touchdown on them. Yeah. That's why I'm picking Seattle. Because at the end of the day, if they can't, if Dallas can shut them down, if, if they can, put it way, if they can drop 35 on Dallas in Dallas, what can they do at home against Philly? Yeah. That's why I'm taking Seattle. All right. We'll see what happens. And by the way, this coach for Philly, I'm starting to wonder about him. Sirianni? Yeah, I don't know how good he is. I don't think he's that good. Well, do you he's remember? He's got a lot of talent there. Look, the GM built that team. It's well built. They got what maybe the best offensive line in football this side of San Francisco. Dude, last year, best but, offensive and defensive line. Yeah, that was last year. Right, but and that's when they were good. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're still 10 and 3. Like, let's not. They're 10 and 3. 
but they've been they've been they've been getting by on guts and guile and all stuff and but again the desperate team here believe it or not is not Philly because Dallas has the harder schedule remaining after this game Philly's last three games are all against teams below 500 and two of those are at home Dallas has to go Dallas has got to play Detroit also they got to play Miami and Detroit after Buffalo Dallas's schedule is much harder than Philly's down the stretch much harder mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, Philly's gone through a, a fucking a ringer. ringer. And now Dallas is about to go through yeah. that ringer. And we'll see how good Dallas really is. Cause Everybody is. I don't give Dallas credit for be- beating up on New England and New York mm-hmm. twice. And that's not. That's bottom feeding. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't yeah. and, and Or, or Washington. What, I mean, come on. These teams aren't that good. So we'll, we'll see. But I, I, to me, the, the, the pendulum's going to swing this way. Now, Dallas going to have to. Look, a tough place to play, Orchard Park, New York. And it's going to be cold. Cold, okay, and Dallas is riding this high from Philly. Buffalo won a big game in Kansas City. Um, I, I like Buffalo for that reason. Um, but tonight, but with this game here, I'm picking Seattle. Um, I think Philly does drop three in a row because honestly, they can't fix their defense. They can't. They don't they have. It. They don't have the personnel. And one of their defensive advisors is Matt Patricia. I got no <laughs> faith. I got no faith in Philly. None. None yet. None yet. I'm going Eagles. So, anyway, that's our show for this week. Um, because, honestly, it's too fucking cold for Two Cents with Tommy. That's and right. I'm too fucking cold to make a rant. And I already made my rant the other day, anyway. So, anyway, you guys enjoy the weekend. We have a Christmas party here in the sack on Saturday night here, right where you guys are watching this great recording. Um, and it should be a lot of fun. It should be a lot of fun. We will return next week, probably on Tuesday. We'll recap the weekend. Uh, by the way, Celtics, big win tonight. Held a two home and homes against Cleveland. They are 12-0 and at home, only undefeated team in the NBA at home. So kudos to the Celtics for back-to-back against a team that gave them a lot of fits last year. So that's our show for this Knicks week. Knicks lost to the Jazz last night. They did. And yeah, they did. So bad loss. That's a bad loss. The worst yeah. loss they've had. Um, we'll see what they do over the weekend. Um, but until the next Tuesday, you guys enjoy the weekend. Tomorrow is Friday. Um, and we will see you in about 96 hours. For the redoubtable one, Tom is the highly question one, Audrey Miliaccio. Peace. Love. Happiness? Happiness, too.